In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what's been giving me the most biggest headache to get to be able to do this review of this product. I'm not being paid by this company to do a review on this product, even though that's what it was supposed to be on this product, which I'll show you in a second, but I just wanna give you a little kind of uh, backdrop. Actually, you know what? While I'm giving you the little backstory about this, I will go ahead and undo it so you guys can see. So lately I've been trying to reach out to other companies. I've been wanting to get products to uh, review and in turn, I would give them a good review, but also, and sometimes they would ask to give you guys a misleading review meaning that if the product sucks they want me to tell you that it's the best thing in the world and that this is the most coolest thing and that you should buy it right away that's the problem with getting things for free and other things you don't get the thing for free but you do maybe pay a discounted price therefore you could kind of give your you know a little bit more pushing towards a better review but also kind of giving a little bit but not too negative review about the product so if i was reviewing something like yeah this thing is really cool the only minus thing is that you have to do this to it you know something minor but still pushing to a good Good review then there is paying full price for the product which therefore you could say whatever you want to it about it and say hey this product sucks don't buy it that's kind of where it went with this particular product I tried so hard to get it for free but you know what maybe everything happens for a reason I ended up paying full price for it and this is what I bought so this thing is so brand new that I didn't even remove the film off of the front visor. Pretty much everything I'm going to tell you in this video is going to be full honesty and I'm not going to hide anything. I'm not going to tell you that this thing is the best because I'll tell you in a minute. But the company that makes it is uh, Lexan. In no way, shape, or form am I being paid to tell you about this product. The company did, uh, is not paying me to show you this product nor am I, you know, trying to you know promote too much which i kind of will get to in a minute oh, everything about this product there is a few videos that i've seen about it they don't really go into too much detail uh so i will show you everything that i know of about this product other than that so let me go ahead and remove this plastic film for you guys How satisfying was that? So, and in turn, I will not give you any false anything about this Bluetooth speaker. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So here is the speaker, how I found out about this speaker. I was at a store. I'm not gonna really mention any store names. I'm not trying to promote any stores as the stores are not paying me. So why should I promote? Anyway, so anyway, I, I was at a store and I was looking for some motorcycle pants and they had one of these in display. A different color, of course. Uh, speaking of colors, uh, here is a picture of all the colors that they offer for this Bluetooth speaker. And the only thing is that there was no associate there at the counter to kind of turn on the speaker and kind of show me about it. Because if I would have known, we definitely wouldn't be doing this review today. But because there was no one there and it kind of captured my eye, I did grab it and I was trying to look for a name and that the name is here at the bottom. So here is the name or the information about this speaker. So now that we're here, still at the bottom, here is pretty much how the bottom looks like. When I first uh, saw the speaker, you know, I thought the whole bottom was a speaker, but if you look here really closely, only this portion is a speaker. All this is plastic and it's covered up. A little misleading there. And, and it kind of gets a, a little worse there, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, like I said, Bluetooth speaker, uh, has a visor obviously here in the front. That little bottom speaker is supposed to be the bass speaker or the more, you know, thumpier part. It has a speaker here on the side. Like I would say these are like tweeters or mid-range speakers. Another one here on this side. I selected this one because I like the design of it, you know, which I'll have a, a video uh, after this one on how to change the color of these to any color you want, really. And uh, the only thing that kind of sucks is that they don't offer this in any other color or this design pattern in any other color but yellow. That's that. But they do offer solid colors like you, sh you saw in the picture. Again, here's another picture again of, of all the, the colors again. So anyhow, like I said, I, I, I selected this one because I like the design. And it kind of rem reminds me of a more realistic kind of motorcycle, motorcycle helmets. Because most motorcycle helmets do have a design to it. Unless you pick one that's a simple color. Anyhow. Uh, besides that, it does have like a little like, you know, tail or whatever, like a real helmet, race helmet would have. It's good. Here's the back end of it. Here's the charge ports, and then it also has for auxiliary cable. So if I remove that, you could see the charge port and the auxiliary for, you know, maybe like a, an old-fashioned uh, audio player. And then here is the brand name again. It's kind of a shiny uh, plastic. 
and, uh, and then there's some like you know some little styling cues here like little ventilation things even though it's just for show and that's about here and then uh, then the cool thing about this one is that you could flip the lid so if you open the lid it shows like a little light so let me show you the light here see it's like a white light and then there's a picture here of a cruiser which you know you could actually you know change the picture and you could put your picture you just got to get the dimensions I'll do I'll do the dimensions and then I'll show you here in the video these are the dimensions for uh, for you to stick a picture in there I try to remove it with tweezers but it looks like it's stuck on with like a double this is like a double-sided sticky uh, picture I don't know why they even show a cruiser there but anyhow you could like I said you could put your own picture of you and your bike or just your bike and then stick it there so you could just go ahead and close that when you close it right when you get up to this point or about to say right there you can see that the light actually turns off so let me go ahead and give you a close-up look you can see right there there right about there you can still see it's kind of open but the light turns off so there is a switch in there uh, to turn off that LED so you don't think that the LEDs are on all the time if you have this closed and then uh, as far as the X over here, uh, there's some things over here. So on the top over here is for your lights. There is an LED light that uh, illuminates at the bottom. And then over here is your power on and off. At the bottom here at this corner, this is uh, if, you're, if you have um, music or you're using YouTube for music, you could go back on music or you go forward on music. But also if you don't have your, um, your player on, when you select back two times, there is two sound profiles on this helmet speaker. M one that's, uh, I would say, more of mid-level and more treble. Not so much any bass whatsoever. And then there's another one that's supposed to be more bassy, but it's not. It just, I feel like it, it kind of tones down the treble a little bit and increases a little bit more mid-level. And the bass is not so much there. The, this this is it being advertised as a base bucket, which I can tell you right now, it's not a base bucket. There is really no base that will make you think that this is gonna be thumping really hardcore. I do have some other speakers here that I'm gonna be comparing this to, so you guys could hear, you know, different speakers comparing to this one. That way, you guys can make your own judgment about it. All right, and then I also have a speaker here that does have some insane bass, and that would blow this speaker away. So those are the two sound profiles. Other than that, on the top, you got your volume control which is all by touch. And there's LEDs here, which we'll get into a second. So, you know, it's, it kind of starts off in the middle, which has a, a startup sound, which uh, it doesn't really match the helmet. So let's actually get into that. All right, so here's the startup sound that you get every time you power it up, which I wish you could turn it off or be able to modify it. Main speaker mode, pairing successful, battery 100%. All right, so that's going to be the startup mode that you're always going to get every time you power this thing up. As you can see, here are the LEDs for the volume control right now. You cannot do nothing to them. They're always going to stay like that until you connect your phone or your MP3 player to it. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, but before, actually before we do that, you can see that the light down here is flashing. Let me go ahead and dim some of the lights in the garage now that we have the thing turned on. All right, so I dimmed the lights a little bit so you guys can see. Right now, it's trying to look for a phone. But before we get to that, and, you know, obviously you cannot control it until we do connect, I wanted to show you that there is different lights. You could actually change the glow at the bottom to a different color. So if you wanted to do that, just go ahead and press the button right here where it shows like a little um, light or whatnot. So if I... Uh, so I can even show it to you. Well, now that I dim all the lights. But anyway, here's a picture pretty much of what I showed at the beginning. So it shows like a little circle with lines on it. That's to change the light. So it's going to be the top left. And then kind of just turn it a little bit so you guys can see more of the side profile as well. All right, so when you press that, now it turns into a red. So you have a few, we only have a few different color options. So you have red. Then you have green. I think green is the most brightest. I wish there was a way to kind of select it to make the other colors a little bit more brighter. But right now, green seems to be the brightest. Then you have blue again. And then after that, it kind of just goes into a, a fade multicolor, which actually shows a little bit more different colors besides those red, green, and blue. So 
So you can see it's just kind of pulsing through the different colors. And then when you press the button again, you go back to, you know, the flashing blue because right now it's trying to pair it to a phone or look for a phone. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at red. Uh, as far as the color for the inside of the helmet visor, it's always white. There's no real way to change it, but I do have a little surprise for you. On the next video, when I show you how to change the color of the helmet, I will show you a little way to actually change the inside color as well over here. All right. Uh, other than that, all right, so now let's get into pairing the phone, uh, whatnot, to the speaker. So to do that, all you have to do is go to your phone settings and then go to Bluetooth and then look for the base bucket. All right, so in the phone right over here, if it ever decides to focus, you can see there it is. It's already connected. It's called base bucket. So once you connect, now you're connected. Let's see, and you still can't do nothing until you actually put some music on, which I find very weird. All right, so now that we are connected, let me go ahead and uh, get some music that I'm not going to get flagged for. And I will, you know, preview some music for you guys so you guys could actually hear the quality of the sound. Okay, so I got some music here that I'm going to play on the Bluetooth speaker. I already changed the light to blue. We'll just keep it at blue for now. And uh, you can see I already have the volume already set. Uh, and you, not only can you set the volume over here by touch, so if I move the um, speaker a little bit closer, let me move this so you guys could see. Okay, so if I touch the, you could, you know. Okay, that's so weird. Well, anyhow, you can control it. Once you start playing the music, you could actually control this, the, the volume over here. As you can see right now, nothing's happening no matter what I do. But anyhow, I'll be able to change, uh, you know, on the phone, I'll be able to also control the volume. So let me go ahead and put that over here. So you guys can kind of have the overall sound. And let me go ahead and uh, play this song. And this is going to be a little bit of like, you know, uh, voice and uh, the music. And then you could actually hear the quality. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Sing out for the easy heart. So there you go. There's a the little snippet of the music and how, you know, how it sounds. Now I do have it on the profile where it's supposed to be a little bit more bassy. The bass is not, I would say, that spectacular. I mean, it's pretty decent, don't get me wrong. But as far as when you hear the word bass bucket, it kind of sounds like it's super bassy. And, and it has like, you know, deeper tones and rich and, and all that. You know, that's what kind of comes to mind when I hear, you know, something of that title. So in order to change the sound profile, let me see, no, let's see, can I just, uh, if you are using YouTube music or YouTube, you know, for your music, you have to turn off the phone and completely be out and then to select a different profile you got to go to the where it has the x and then press the previous uh uh arrow button whatever and i'm going to press you got to press it two times and you'll hear it uh change so let me go ahead and do that now so you can hear it now tune okay now you can hear it you have to press it a few times and you, you just heard it said loud tune okay so now we're going to go back to that same song and play, and it should probably sound different. All right, so you could already and hear the difference of how it sounded like compared to before when we were playing the music. And of course, if like that uh, particular sound um, option or whatnot, or sound profile, it just doesn't sound that great. That's why going to the other one, if you want to go back to the previous one again, go to where the X and then the previous track arrow, 
keep on pressing it until you hear it say uh, something else. So let me go ahead and press these so you guys could hear it going to the next option. Base enhancement. Okay, so it's called bass enhancement. So now you could hear again uh, on how it sounds like the, the treble and the mid-range is kind of toned down a little bit and having the bass a little bit to make the bass sound a little bit more higher. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speaker kind of sideways or kind of this direction because I'm going to use the on the phone or, and I could also use it here to uh, you know increase the sound. Obviously you can't do nothing since the music, which is kind of weird that why you can't control the volume uh, with the music not playing. But I'm going to go ahead and put the music now and uh, you should be able to control the volume. Okay, that's low. And it goes pretty, I would say it goes pretty loud uh, for a speaker this size, I must say. Now I'm going to control it with uh, the phone. All right, so I'm just going to pretty much just pause it there, but you kind of get the idea of the sound quality, and, and that's just one song. I'm going to go to a different song, and we'll play that song and, and see, you know, because obviously different songs is going to uh, affect how the performance of the speaker is. I get it, and you guys get it as well. Another thing with the volume control I wanted to show you is that when you select it, if you don't move your finger kind of fast, it kind of jumps every five bars. You can't really fine tune it to be like one, two, three, or individual bars on this, which is very weird. I don't see why you can't do that. But once you get up to here and then you keep on moving it with your finger, it increases every two bars or around two to three bars uh, on the speaker. So I'll show you the bars right here. Oh, there's the bars that you could see. And yeah, very odd. But when, when you control it with the phone, it increases every every uh, one to two bars and then with the phone you could actually you know decrease it up to like two or three bars and then it just kind of turns off altogether. I'm gonna uh, put the speaker kind of sideways maybe like this because you can see the bars as well and then you know you're gonna hear more of the the side speakers uh, in this in this next clip. Sound quality is not what you would expect, especially at the price point of the speaker, which is $229. I know, it's, it's pretty expensive. And what I say for $229, what, what you're really getting is more of a novelty, you know, something that was going to look cool in, in your garage, you know, with your motorcycles. You know, it's pretty cool that, you know, it has, you know, you're paying with the LEDs. And it does, you know, like I said, have that those those are a few different colors then it just kind of cycles through all these different colors you know you're you're able to lift up the lid you know put a picture of your own motorcycle on there so that's pretty cool that you can lift up the lid because uh, on other on other items you cannot lift up the lid now let me let me show you what i mean by other items i do have this guy uh which i got a long time ago and it is a motorcycle helmet lighter I don't know exactly where I got it, but I know I got this way before I was into motorcycles. And you can see it is a refillable lighter with butane. And unfortunately, the lid on this one does not open. And the flame comes up over here. I don't think it even works anymore. It's It's been a long time. But that's just an example of, you know, a lid not being able to lift up. All right. And then just real quick before I go to another option that shows you over here on, on battery percent life. And then I'll go ahead and turn on the lights a little bit. But the, if, if you let's go ahead and select that. Um where it kind of takes away the bass and put a little bit more uh, high on the treble and mid-range. So keep on pressing this button until you hear that. Loud tune. Loud tune, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play that same song. <laughs> All 
All right, I kind of want to turn it off because that that's, that particular sound profile does get annoying. It kind of almost hurts your ears. But as you can see, when I was using my finger, that it just kept on. It jumps. It just just jumps to too many bars. You know, that's another negative about it. I just wish you could you know really fine tune it. Just go one bar at a time on volume. You don't want to go from here to here. You know, you want something in the middle. Uh, the other negative I would say about this is that there is no equalizer you know to really fine tune the music that you want you know maybe you don't want it to be how it is it like i said it only has two sound profiles either really high in treble in, in mid-range or you minus that just to have that that uh, bass sound just a little bit like it has bass uh, but it really doesn't so those are the only two profiles you get uh, if you had we had an, uh, an option for an equalizer or an app that we could connect to with the speaker and be able to kind of really fine tune it that'd be great so, uh, Lexan, if you're listening to this company, you know, if this company is listening to me and watching this video, please, you know, make an app so we could use with the speaker and be able to fine tune and, uh, and have different sound profiles. Uh, other than that, to find out the status of your speaker for battery life, let me go ahead and turn on some of these lights so we could, you know, you can see the buttons that I'm pressing. All right, there we go. So to find out the status of your helmet speaker, you press this side so on the x you're gonna press the right side so keep on pressing until you hear the the status battery 100 percent. there you go so that's that okay so now i'm gonna play that same song and then i'm gonna show you you know skipping tracks is what that is for all right so we got the music playing so if we press the little arrow down here it'll go back a track Okay, so it went back a track. Obviously, using the YouTube, it's showing a commercial right now. But pretty much now it's going back to the song I had played before. And then if you wanted to, you know, skip forward, same thing. You just go ahead and press the other side. And now go to the, the next uh, track or the next song on your playlist. So, like I said, overall, you know, for the price of $229, I give it a thumbs down. I would say they should price this at between 75 to around 100 bucks at best. You know, just because it does look cool, you know, and it'll look great in your moto cave, you know, on a shelf or maybe in your office, you know, to kind of show off a little bit, you know, your motorcycle here. You know, the visor guy kind of goes all the way up to here. So you can see on how high the visor goes. So, in a, you know, and that's about it, I would say, you know, I wish they would, you know, besides having the LEDs that do look cool and everything, you know, kind of also add to the sound quality. Uh, that's the only, I would say, negative gripe I have about it is sound quality, uh, not having an app or uh, an app with an equalizer to really fine tune the music. I would say those are my, my two. And then the last would be the price point. The price point is just, it's just too much. You know, you could get so much other speakers, you know, they may not look as cool as this, but you get better quality sound. They, you know, they don't concentrate too much on the, how the, it looks like, but more the the quality goes to the, the sound. Okay, and lastly, speaking about the gripes of the speaker helmet is that I also wish that you can change the sound that it makes when you do start it up, because it does, when you do press it, obviously it starts out as a cruiser motorcycle. <laughs> Why not have it where you could actually record your own motorcycle and install it in there, you know, through an app or whatnot. And also with speaking with the app to be able to actually have the LED lights. By the way, the LED lights are blinking now. And this is how it looks like on the bottom. Uh, this is pretty much the whole bottom with the LED. That to have the LEDs maybe pulse with your music, that'd be awesome. You know, have your music playing and it, you know, kind of goes with the beat of your music. If you have this in your room, maybe you want to listen to some music while you're in bed or whatever. If you happen to have kids, when you start this thing up, it is really loud, especially at night when you have your kids in bed and you want to power this thing up, it's loud. So it may wake them up. So note that this is not really quiet when you, you know, turn it on. Power off. And there's no way to really adjust the volume to start off at a low volume when you start it up. Also, before I forget, because I don't want to keep this video too long uh, for you guys, because the next video that I'll have will be comparing this speaker with some other comparable speakers. And then I'm also going to be comparing it. I know it's not going to be a, a fair comparison because I'll be comparing this one with 
this is really big one. Now this one is a really good bass thumping speaker. We'll get to that on the next video. It's gonna be coming after this. So lastly, when I was at, I did start to edit this video. Now you're probably saying, Afonso, the speaker actually sounds really good. It has like good bass that I'm listening to. In the video, it sounds like it has really good bass, but in actuality, it does not. I'm not sure why it's coming through the video that way. Maybe it's because of the, the camera I'm using or whatnot. The bass is, I would say, mediocre at best. But other than that, minus all the cons, it's still a pretty nice little novelty speaker to have. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I just want to wrap this up real quick. Uh, if you enjoyed this uh, review video, please smash that like button. If you have any comments, leave it down below. While you're down there, also subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you guys are up to date with my latest installations, videos, and reviews. And if you guys want me to, to do any other types of videos, please put that down below. A link for this particular helmet speaker will be down below in case you do want to buy it, minus the sound quality and also... <laughs> I'm keep on finding so many. I wish this whole bottom part was a speaker. That would be good. Because if this whole bottom part was a speaker, I think the bass would hit a lot harder. You know, and if you're able to adjust it on the phone, you know, with an app, I think that would do a major world of a difference. All right, guys, take care, and I'll catch you guys on the next video of this guy.